Edgar Lashy 9 at the shooting range. A-State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the shooting range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Servo, thanks for dropping in. Today I'm on the shooting range, shooting on 50 meters, 55 yards, and I have an amazing air gun with me. The Edgun Leshy 9, the Edgun Leshy 2 with 9 millimeter caliber. I'm shooting Zanslax with um, 90 grains. Um, I tested a lot uh, between the 81 and 90 grains with different uh, setups for the regulator. I'm very sorry guys, um, my technique makes me big problems on the day of on the shooting range and from this on I we don't have the original sound so I have to talk from at home um, and tell you everything I wanted to tell you. Um, next time I hope uh, it will be better. Okay, so let's start. Um, I have the setup, I have an element Helix mounted, Helix HDLR 2 to 16 scope. Um, I have it very new, it's an amazing scope. It has an illumination, uh, which is good for the shooting range when, you, when it's not so um, brighty on the day. And um, I'm shooting the Zanslax 90 grainers, um, tested a lot with the 81 grainers too. These are the two which fit in the titanium magazines of this nine millimeter Leshy. You can buy this Leshy nine millimeter at Francisco at edgarnleshy.shop. Of course, when you're from Germany, you can um, buy it at jabolo.de at my shop. We have the 4.5 millimeter and 5.5 millimeter version. Um, the scope mount is a sports match UK scope mount, the ATP 72. And I have an Acutec WB4 bipod and uh, the 470cc bottle. The regulator is adjusted at 180 bar, so you have a power of about 175 joule. You can do about uh, 40 or 45 good shots until you have to um, refill the bottle. So let's take out the target card up to 50 meters. The filling of the magazine is very, very easy. I um, let in the magazine, it's a, the titanium magazine, and only put up the, the plate which is on it to hold the slugs in, his, in their position. And then I put in the eight slugs and they fit really perfect. I think Sun made them for the Lash 2. They're so high quality. Every slug looks like the one um, you had before in your hands. So, okay, put back this rear stock and now let's shoot. You can see the recoil of the rifle. It's a really hard hitter. Ah, what was the first shot? The other seven shots were really in a small circle but the first shot, I really missed it. But let's take a closer look on it. Card is coming back. Here it is. Uh, 
I've tried uh, so many different Leshy setups. I have it in 4.5, 5.5, 35 millimeter tested with different barrel lengths from 250 up to 600. Um, but I must really say the 9 millimeter is a game changer. It's an amazing hard hitter and it's very accurate. Um, I must tell you that I only have it a few days, so I think if I uh, try different adjustments on it, I uh, can increase the accuracy. But I think I am at a point uh, where my shooting skills are at his end um, because you see the recoil of the rifle when I'm shooting and it's really not so easy like shooting a 7.5 or a sub 12 air gun which is really no no recoil if you have your sound a little bit louder, you heard me screaming after this shot. I really made such a good series. And then this one shot that uh, kills everything. So let's get back the target card and take a closer look. After the four to five shots, which were in a circle of half an inch, I thought I can do an amazing result. But I think if you're a good shooter, um, you now see what you can do with these slugs and the 9mm Lashy. It's a really an amazing result. Seven shots are in a range of an inch. And you have to remember that we have a caliber of 0.35. So it is really a very good result. So what can I say finally about this gun? It is not very cheap, yes, that's right. But for me, it is worth every cent. Um, I really have a lot of fun with it and I really like it to have a hard recoil on a PCP air gun because I know that there is a, um, power behind it. The Legion 9 has a 137cc power plenum. The regulator is at the end of the Power plenum, it's different from the other lashes you know before, where the manometer and the regulator is in the middle of the um, rear stock. You have a Valkyrie grip on it. Um, I showed you with an additional puck and uh, with the tools for the lashy on it. Um, there are different hand guards. Um, I have this hand, chosen this hand guard, and you can get a Picatinny hand guard too. You can get it from 250 barrel lengths up to 600 millimeter. Um, I have the Behemoth system on it with a five chamber, and you can um, I showed you that it has M lock slots, which where you can um, mount different Picatinny rails for my architect biport or for a flashlight if it's allowed in your country or a red dot. So if you ask me if I can recommend the Leshy 9 in 0.35 cal, um, it's a very clear yes. Okay, you really need a lot of ammunition. When you um, shoot eight shots in two seconds and you have uh, 100 um, slugs in your tin, um, so you can calculate how long uh, this it will take until they are empty. I hope you will subscribe my channel. I hope you liked my video. Um, tell me what you think about a 9mm air gun and tell me if you have uh, tested a uh, Edgar Leshy before. Um, hope you will come back next time. There will be lots of videos with lots of amazing air guns. Check out diabolo.de, my shop, and uh, order your Leshy 9mm at Francisco at edgunleshy.shop. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time. Ciao, servus, Esser Gandhi.